Hi, in this video we're going to show you a way to make a custom menu for your preferred Google Apps in Google Chrome. So let's say you're on the Google website, you know you have the waffle here, where you could click on your Google Apps, and then you could just kind of scroll through them, uh, get more from the marketplace, and you could kind of drag and drop them, but you can't really do anything. And then once you go to a different page, then you don't have those anymore. So what we're going to show you is a free extension called Shortcuts for Google. So this will work for Chrome and Edge. I'm not sure if they have them for other browsers, so you can check that out if you're using a different browser. So once you install it, you just simply go to your extensions, and then you probably want to pin it so you don't have to browse for it in your extension list. And then that'll give you some default icons that you could click on as needed, and you could actually search for them. So if you go to the settings here, then you could actually customize it. So here are the available app shortcuts. Then you could actually sort them. So let's say you wanted to sort by name. So you could see the uh, alphabetical order here. And let's say you want to add one or remove one. Just go over here. Let's say we don't want keep. Just click on it. It'll be gone. And let's say we want to add... Google account settings. Just click on it like that. And then you could rearrange them here too if you want. Then you could remove them all from here as well. And let's say you wanted to create a custom shortcut that's not even a Google app. Click on this, give it a name. Let's call this OCT for Online Computer Tips. Put in the URL. And then for the icon, you could change the icon. So if you have an online file, so for this one, for example, I could go here, right-click, copy image address, paste it in there, like so. And let's say you had your own custom icon hosted somewhere, you could use that as well. Click on Save. And now we have this down here. So now when we go back here, we could click on our icon here, and now we have all of our icons for our Google Apps, including this one here too. And one good thing, so let's say you're on Google, you could obviously use the waffle, but if you're on a different website, you don't have the waffle anymore. So when you're using this extension, you'll always have access to your apps. All right, and then also on the settings page, you could drop down here and look at some other options. Display the search and launch box. Uh, display shortcuts suggestions. Uh, you could use dark mode. That'll just change it for the menu here, so it's not going to change it for your browser like that. And then if you want to hide the labels, you could do that. If you want to change the icon size, you could do that. And then you have the display mode. Let's say you want to go horizontal. You could view them that way. Vertically. And then you can do custom if you want to change your columns and so on. I'll put it back to auto here. All right, and then for the shortcut behavior, the default is to focus existing tab if shortcut is already open, and then to open shortcuts in a new tab, which it will do. So let's say we go here to calendar, it'll open it in a new tab. And then we have some icons. So you could adapt the icon for the dark theme. So let's say we don't like the square here, we want something with a G. You do that. That one's not going to work too good unless you're using dark mode. You can make it look like the waffle. And so on. And then you could export your settings if you want to import them into a different computer that's using this extension. All right, so as you can see, there is a lot of customization you can do, and it does come in very handy if you use a lot of the Google apps, and that way you don't have to be on the Google homepage to access them. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download shortcuts for Google, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.